within few minutes, <laughs> I went to Hellfire and came back. The whole water, everything splashed on me. The cocoa yam, everything splashed on me, guys. Like if I have never believed that there was anything like Hellfire at that moment, I believed it. Hey guys, this is Nemi Inspired. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be talking about how I treated burns using natural herbs. Guys, as in this story happened few years back and a month after the accident, I recovered so fast. I was the one telling people, this is what happened to me or this is what happened to me. I say, no, no, no. I'll bring the picture as evidence, seriously. So, I had um, this accident just few months after I finished my last exam. We are delayed because of strike and also I was just sitting back at home and waiting for my convocation and my results from the university. So I, um, there's this pressure pot we always have in our house. I think it was gifted to us. Guys, this accident was a result of pure carelessness. In fact, I, I'm very ashamed to say it. this is what you know when this slogan they say if you want to hide something from a black man, put it in a book. As a graduate, I did not read basic instructions. So this pressure pot was just sitting on the counter then and I was about to go to church. We were just trying to save time. So I brought the pressure pot. To put to cook the cocoa yam, that is the eighth day for the soup. So I just put the the cocoa yam, added the water, closed the pressure pot, and on the the cooker. So like seven minutes later, I believe it, it was have cooked. So I brought it down, guys. I did not know I was supposed to wait few minutes for the pressure pot to cool down before opening it. So as I brought the pressure pot down, so only for me to open it, I noticed it was stiff. I was like, what is all this was now? So my village people, I believe it must have been my village people that ministered to me. Use force. Guys, that's how I use force. I applied, I felt I was strong. I used force. I just used force to open the pressure pot with force like that. God, within few minutes. <laughs> I went to Hellfire and came back. I opened it with force. The whole water, everything splashed on me. The cocoa yam, everything splashed on me, guys. Like if I have never believed that there was anything like Hellfire at that moment, I believed it. I was very hot. Within minutes, I was just screaming, oh my God. I rushed out of the kitchen. My sister came out. She was like, "What is going on? What, what is going on?" I was just screaming. There's there's a drum outside outside the kitchen. I just wanted to dip my head, dip my body into the drum. So I was just screaming. I felt so much pain. I was like just I was screaming while I was running to go and dip my head on inside the drum. One of our neighbors just held me back. She just held me. I can never forget that woman at the Agatha a God sent. She held me back. I was still shouting. Oh my God. I've never felt so much pain in all my life. Naturally, I'm somebody who has a very high threshold for, for enduring pain. But that day, huh, I saw the one that passed me back. She was, I was screaming. So she held me. She don't told my sister. She told my sister to hold me, let her get some things. All what I wanted at that moment was just to dip my head in that water because I was so hot. I was feeling my skin so hot. So my sister held me. She, the, my neighbor ran to the to her room uh, and she brought egg. She just broke the egg, mixed it, just applied it all over my face, my body, the affected area, and um, she also brought. In fact. It was just God. She had all those things in her house at that moment. She brought iodine. She applied it all over my body too and I was still shouting. Hey, God of mercy. I was still shouting. So my sister, they just took me to the house, into the house. I they started fanning me. At least let me just feel a, bit, a little bit relief. So I was still screaming. <laughs> I can laugh now, but then it was not funny. I can laugh now. So. 
I was just shouting, they were just fanning me and all that. So when my mom came back, in, when she saw me, she was like, what is going on? As in, immediately you see me, you know that. <laughs> How do they say it in scriptural terms? Virtues has gone out of me. As in, I was looking, as in fact, I was looking one out. So when she, when she just came back, she now saw me, she shouted, what happened? So while we were trying to explain and all that, she just... She just said, let, in fact, let her just act quickly. My body was swollen. My eyes were totally, one of my eyes was totally closed. My body was just swollen from the whole stuff. So she, immediately she prepared hot water. <laughs> I don't know how this, whether this is scientifically proven or not, but it sure worked. She prepared hot, hot water, used the clean towel and was massaging it on my body. Come and see pains part two. I started shouting. They held me. They were massaging it on my body, massaging it on my body. My face, because this thing happened at the right part of my face. They massaged it on my body. After massaging it on my body, we have the aloe vera, I call it the plant in our house. So they just plugged it, blended it into a paste, and they now applied the paste on my body. It was as if they applied pepper on my body. I was like, what is going on? I started shouting again. <laughs> I started screaming again. In fact, it was not funny. They applied it on my body. I started screaming again. I was like, what is all this? So immediately we rushed out. And my sister rushed out. They got honey. After applying the aloe vera paste onto my skin, when it dried, they now applied honey. I now lie down. I could not sleep. I could not sleep. I was in so much pain. So my dad suggested ah, let them get Ampiclos Bicham as an antibiotic that is going to help to avoid infection because right at, at that moment my skin, some part of my skin was already exposed because of the whole stuff. So they got the Ampiclos Bicham. So I was taking the Ampiclos Bicham. I think was it four times a day, four times as antibiotics. That was the major orthodox medicine I used. So I was taking the Ampicos Bicham. So every morning and evening, hot skin would massage with hot water using a towel. Then the then the vera because that aloe vera you don't keep it. Immediately you grab, blend the paste. You apply it onto the skin. If you leave it for like 30 minutes, it will not be slimy again. You just discover that it will be watery and it will not be as effective as when it's fresh, when it's well blended and so it's very very slimy. So every morning aloe vera will be blended, applied onto my skin. After it's been massaged with water, aloe vera will be blended and applied onto my skin. Then um, after the aloe vera, honey will also be applied onto my skin. Guys, this treatment was done for like one week consecutively with the hot or uh, with the hot water massage the aloe vera the fresh aloe vera and also the honey after the second day the third day my eyes started to open my eyes was not open i now went to the mirror oh my god to look at myself <laughs> that was the day i took that picture that is on the thumbnail when I looked at myself, oh my god, I could not believe what I was seeing. I was looking so, oh god, I was looking so weird, so scary. I was like, God, I was even surprised that family could even come near me because I'm somebody that seems irritated. If it were another person I was looking like that, I will not, I will hesitate to go near the person. But as they, as they, we all know, family will always be family. They were not irritated. They were not uh, hesitating to come near me. They took care of me perfectly. So after that, a um, few days later, that upper skin where the hot water poured directly on started to peel off so my face was red <laughs> then when the aloe vera was applied on my it was so painful and all that my face peeled as in that face came peeled off i started healing guys within a month my skin was restored my skin was restored this aloe vera and the hot water and the bubble tibo the hot water thing was done for like one week consecutive
immediately after that the only thing that was applied on my skin was fresh aloe vera paste and honey so after like a week after like a month guys my skin was very 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 okay i still had the scars and um but i'll be the one telling people this is what happened to me they'll be like ah, are you sure i say yes this is what happened to me and from my skin alone i just looked like somebody that had this uh, maybe i had a little injury and scar it was not looking so dramatic so traumatic and all that so that's what happened that's how i was healed using natural herbs i did not go to any hospital i did not have any infection nothing nothing i was just totally healed and for up to a year or thereabouts i did not apply any cream i was using shea butter i mixed it with honey that's what i was applying on my skin guys and the problem with that shea butter is that you know we are in nigeria is a hot um, we have hot hot weather so when you apply that shea butter in the, in the hot sun naturally i do sweat the disadvantage is that i will be sweating like this but i i just continued i applied the shea butter i applied the honey for a full year guys and look at me now this is my skin if you look closely here you will see some just little scar and even some part of my face you just see little scar but that's it you have to check very well you have to check very well before you see anything i'm so thankful to god i'm so grateful that in fact, it ended in praise, like we always say. And I learned my lesson, guys. I'm no longer taking anything for granted. Whenever I have a new appliance, I always read instructions, guys. I no longer take anything for granted. And um, this should be a lesson to other people. Don't be careless about anything because the story would have been different if my neighbor was not oh my god if my neighbor was not so active and from the story i had had even i had put my head in that water that drum of water that first came with peel that's why sometimes you see some people their faces will look reddish the the wound has already been healed but their face will just be looking red and um i'm so thankful to god most times i see people and um, born victims and i just thank god because some of them their their accident the, the the bones was not even caused by carelessness it was just a result of accidents fire so many things but mine was carelessness but god was still merciful to me so before this video end i have to add this disclaimer guys i'm not encouraging anybody not to go to the hospital i'm not encouraging anybody not to seek professional help i am just sharing my experience how it happened so guys if you have any problem any medical problem it is advised that you seek professional help so if you've enjoyed this video please don't forget to give a thumbs up don't forget to comment don't forget to like please share this video many people need to watch it many people need to be more aware thank you very much for coming thank you very much for listening and god bless you so i'm going to see you in my next video